Look at that lens flare, though. That's pretty epic. You gotta make that. Look at that. I'm pretty fancy today. All right, what is up, guys? Brandon here from Cinema Byte. I'm actually the uh, director, editor, and filmmaker. Oh, and founder of the channel here at the uh, Cinema Byte Studios, if you will. So I uh, feel special that I'm talking to you right now. Anywho, I actually had, did I just say anywho? What is wrong with me? Oh my God! Anyways, there we go. So I actually had a few requests on how I made the, uh, the lightsaber effect on our most recent uh, trailer for uh, our new film that's coming out very soon. We're still working on it, but it'll be here uh, eventually. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So if we look here, we can see we have some footage of a <clears throat> totally Kylo Ren walking around in the uh, forest, and uh, it looks pretty sweet, right? But then you can see, oh my gosh, that is not a lightsaber. That's a red stick. What is this? So let's uh, let's fix that. So first, we're going to right-click down here out in the open, go to New, make a new solid. Make sure the solid is a white solid, because, yeah. And then uh, <laughs> uh, make, your, make sure your settings are like this. Fancy. All right. Now we're going to uh, press T on your keyboard. See my mouse right here? We're going to go down to Opacity. Turn it down just so we can see our uh, main footage under the white layer. Now that we've done that, we're going to take a pen tool. And I'm not going to do the entire scene over with a lightsaber effect. I'm just going to show you a few frames of how I do it. And you could take that and do it to your own film. So we take our pen tool. And we're going to pretty much frame the outline of the lightsaber, if that makes sense. So I'll put a point here, point here, a point here, here, here. Oh. Looks like I messed up. Isn't that fantastic? Let's fix that like that. There we go. Now we're now we're balling. All right, pretty fancy, and that's it. No, I'm kidding. Um, so now we have that. We might want to scale it to fit a little better. Look at those pixels, though. All right. Now you want to press M twice or three times, depending on which state of M you were on, <clears throat> and uh, turn on mask path, and uh, that's about it. So now. We pretty much just frame by frame move the, uh, whoop, what's going on here, yo? My points are not working. Okay, I fixed the points. All I did was click off and click back on. The points are working, all right? Nobody's perfect. Don't even judge me, yo. You don't even know. So now we're going to pretty much just follow the outline of the saber. Oh, come on, man. Just want to make a tutorial. All right, there we go. Frame by frame. It is very time consuming, but if you, you know, spend a lot of effort doing this, it'll totally look sweet. But, ugh, it takes a lot of time. Usually I'll just jam some music for hours while I do this. I'll go ahead and get a few frames here. Alright, so I got a few frames done of the saber, and that's all I really need just for this tutorial, just to keep it short. And uh, so now, we're going to use the plugin called Saber by Video Copilot. I'll have a link to that plugin in the description below. And we're going to apply that uh, awesome plugin that Andrew Kramer has built to uh, our lightsaber, our uh, rectangle looking thing, if you will. So, uh, go ahead and search Saber. There it is. Drop it like that. Oh, first you need to turn your opacity back up, so press T on your uh, white layer and turn it back up to 100%. There we go. Look at that saber, though. <clears throat> so pretty much, saber just makes making lightsabers easier. I used to not use saber. I used to roto it myself, and it just took a lot of time. So saber just makes everything so much easier. So, yeah. All right, so now that we have saber applied to our white layer, we're going to go down to, I think, render settings. Maybe. Maybe it's custom core. Yeah, here it is. Customize core. My bad. Nobody's perfect. All right, customize core, core type, and you want to put it on layer masks. So now it follows the outline of that mask. But whoa, wait a minute. It's hollow. We need to fix that. So how do you do that? That's under, let's find it here. Render settings, I think. And you click, oh yeah, right here. Composite settings, and you click add. And holy Kylo Ren, would you look at that? Oh my gosh, that is freaking amazing. So... That's looking cool, right? But here's the thing, it's Kylo Ren. It's not it's not Blue Saber Luke Skywalker up in here, so let's fix that. 
So I've been actually using the preset. Uh, it's called, I think, Star. Yeah, Star Killer right there. Boom! Oh my good lord. That is just fantastic. Let's put this on full so we can look at it. It's full beauty up in here. Render, yo. Look at that. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering why there's no cross guard, that's actually coming. We're just taking time to make the actual prop saber for this film uh, to use a cross guard. So this was just to get a little something out there just to get everybody hyped for the film. But the, the real film that we're working on will have the cross guard right here. So no worries, guys. But um, that is literally it. It is as simple as that to do lightsaber effects nowadays. It just takes a lot of time. And uh, yeah, this doesn't look great. I didn't spend too much time rotoing out the lightsaber. I just kind of did it quick just to keep the tutorial nice and short. Um, so yeah, hopefully this made sense. If not, comment below and I'll try to explain things a little bit better. But uh, yeah, that's overall how you do it. Uh, thanks again to Video Copilot for making that awesome free plugin. I must add, it is a free plugin. It's called Saber. I'll leave a link to it down below. It's freaking amazing. And I think uh, Video Copilot actually does have some tutorials on how you can make a Saber using their own plugin. So uh, you can do that if you want, or you can just use this as a reference. It's up to you guys. But uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, yo.